Hi, in the previous lecture, we discussed about the basic concepts about the Pascal triangle and how to construct a Pascal triangle. So, in this lecture, we are going to extend it. That is how you can draw different patterns on the Pascal triangle or how you can depict the interesting patterns on the Pascal triangle. In that, the first is the hockey stick pattern. I hope that everybody knows about the shape of a hockey stick. So that particular shape you need to depict it or you need to show it on the Pascal triangle. So for that 1, 6, 21, 56. So these are the diagonal elements. So this gives me the straight stick of a hockey in order to get the actual shape of a hockey stick. So I just move down towards my right. So and I get the number 84. So this forms the actual shape of a hockey stick. So the same way over here, I've done the same process. So these set of elements on the diagonal, it forms the straight part of the hockey stick. And in order to get the curvy part, I just move towards my left one, down. So this is about the hockey stick. So in this way, whatever pattern they've asked for, you need to just depict the pattern as such on the Pascal triangle. So this is about the hockey stick. And the next is if you are asked to go with the logo of the car company Renault. So how will you depict that on the Pascal triangle? So this Renault logo is about a diamond shape. So that diamond shape. So in order to get the shape of a diamond, what are the numbers you need to connect? That's it. So this is the pattern that is the Renault logo on the Pascal triangle. So and the next interesting concept or the interesting property on Pascal triangle is magic of 11. So in this what we are going to do is we are going to raise a number to the power of 11 and whatever number we get. So that particular number is has to be there on the Pascal triangle. So this is the depiction of, uh, this is the description of the magic of 11 over here. That is what I told 11 raised to the power n. 11 to the power of n in this this n i'm going to start initially with 0 1 2 it goes on so over here is the process whatever i've done 11 raised to the power 0 anything to the power of 0 is 1 so this one yes we have it on the pascal's triangle which forms the zero row, or it is the initial starting symbol of the pascal triangle and next 11 raised to the power 1 which is 11 again so that is 1 1 so that forms the first row of a pascal triangle if it is about 11 square it gives you 1 2 1 which forms the second row of the pascal triangle 1 2 1 the same it is for 11 to the power 3 and 11 to the power 4 the issue raises when it is with 11 to the power 5 so which gives me on solving 11 to the power 5 the actual number which I get is 1, 6, 1, 0, 5, 1. But this particular number, it is not being present as such on the Pascal triangle. But it is implicitly being hidden on this Pascal triangle. That hidden number, how shall how can we identify it? So that is over here. 1, 5. Keep it as it is. As it is a two-digit number, 10. Keep the units number 0 as such and this 1 is being passed as a borrow to the next adjacent number. So now this 10 plus 1 borrow from the previous number it becomes 11. So 1, 1. So I keep the units number 1 as such and this 1 is being passed as a borrow to the next number which forms 5 plus 1. Now I get 6 and this 1 is kept as such. So here I arrive at this number 161051 so this is how you need to identify the hidden number on the pascal triangle so these are few set of pa patterns that could be drawn or depicted on the pascal triangle and whatever pattern is asked so just you need to depict as such right i hope it is clear and thank you